President Joe Biden recently expressed his approval of the ceasefire deal that secured the release of 50 hostages held by the Hamas militant group. He conveyed gratitude for the acceptance of the ceasefire. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu office confirmed that approximately 50 hostages abducted by Hamas during the October 7 attack in Gaza would be released over four days, with a pause in the fighting. President Biden welcomed the deal on social media, expressing his satisfaction that those who endured an unspeakable ordeal would be reunited with their families. The U.S. President thanked Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani of Qatar and President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi of Egypt for their critical partnership in reaching the deal. He also appreciated Prime Minister Netanyahu's commitment to supporting an extended pause for the deal's full implementation. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken welcomed the release of the hostages and thanked Qatar and Egypt for their partnership. However, despite the ceasefire, Netanyahu emphasized that the conflict had not concluded, stating that Israel would continue efforts to return all abductees, eliminate Hamas and prevent renewed threats from Gaza. While Hamas has agreed to release 50 hostages, approximately 150 remain under its control, with over 200 initially abducted during the October 7 offensive into Israel. President Biden asserted on social media that he would not stop until all hostages were released, emphasizing the safety of Americans held hostage as his top priority.